Welcome back, everyone. So yesterday we got some interesting images into our newsroom of a land spout. Now this was seen just east of Desarc, so we saw those storms develop yesterday afternoon. And east of Desarc, we saw this image right here. So first reaction, you think, okay, this is a tornado, which it is mm -hmm. a type of a tornado, right? It is a type, but it's the way it's formed is much different. If we actually can go to our weather graphics, we'll try to explain this the best we can in the most simplified form here. Mm -hmm. Land spout versus tornado. This is very important for people to at least pay attention to this part. So you've got two different thunderstorms that are ongoing on this screen here. One that actually has a rotating updraft. We call that a mesocyclone. Okay, so that means that the actual updraft of the thunderstorm is rotating, something that we're able to see a little bit better on radar. Now, with a land spout, these are much more difficult to see because we actually only see the rotation from the base to the surface. A land spout actually forms from the surface towards the thunderstorm because the updraft is it's ingesting all the heat and humidity. It's actually pulling what could be that little bit of a circulation from the formation of a couple boundaries here. So I'm going to step out and show you this. This is what makes it really hard to see. When we are looking at it with our radar system, when we watch our radar scan the skies, we're actually able to see, because a mesocyclone is much bigger in the presence of a supercell thunderstorm, we can see those winds coming towards and away from the radar. But notice, because the Earth curves, the radar beam does not curve with the Earth, so it continues to go in height in the uh, atmosphere. So we actually miss the rotation with land spouts in most cases. But I will say, yes, at the first, when you watch the video, it is a little scary out there to see because it's hard to tell what the difference is. But we know, based on the conditions of the atmosphere of that day, what would be the typical case. And it's classified, though, as a type of a tornado, but it forms with non super cell storms. This was a plain old just multi-cell thunderstorm yesterday. They have a thin rope-like appearance. They're very short-lived. They don't last for a long period of time because they actually form, as I mentioned, from the surface up towards a thunderstorm because of boundaries that collide together at the surface. Winds are generally very weak and they very rarely cause damage. There have been a few that have caused some damage.